Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, today we are discussing grassroots politics in the United States of America. We have the expert in the field, Nakia Elliott from Bowie State University. Also, we got the DMV best hip hop artist in the nation, Jay Mills, will be coming to the stage. Without further ado, let me see you all give a clap, clap, clap for Chanel Crazy! That's on my chest, Miss Bobby is the best And I can't take credit, I just happen to be blessed I got a message to share, listen if you dare Don't follow the shadow, look up and see clear I swear it's like Plato's allegory of the cave How can I free people who choose to be slaves? I try until they put me in the grave I promise the world I say I'm focused I am not very pleased with the United States government. If the government had any concern for its citizens, they wouldn't spend millions of dollars on war. Instead, they would make sure that every citizen had a warm place to sleep and a hot plate of food. If the government was truly for the people, they would bail out citizens and not just multi-billion dollar corporations. Now, I can be against the government and not put any attention towards the politics or just complain or I can utilize what I believe is the second most cherished constitutional right, and that is the right to vote. I think freedom of speech is the most important, but anyway. It's unfortunate that citizens do not adequately follow politics or no individual's can candidate stances on important issues. Choosing to be ignorant is exactly what they want us to do. Today we will discuss the importance of understanding and following politics. I don't think football is America's favorite pastime, no. I'm pretty sure America's favorite pastime is politics. It's a sport. Scores are tallied every two years, but the game never stops. First, let's define politics, the process of resolving conflicts and deciding who gets what, when, and how. The struggle over power or influence within an organization or informal groups that can grant or withhold benefits and privileges. For instance, churches use politics when deciding to construct a new building or hire a new minister. The most important organization controlled by politics is the government. A lot of people don't like the government, and I can't say that I'm always in love with them myself, but we have to acknowledge how necessary the government is. In the absence of a unified government, there is civil war. I want to introduce to you Nakia Elliott. She's a graduate of Bowie State University with a Bachelor's of Science in Psychology and a minor in History and Government. She also recently graduated from the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, with a Master's in Professional Studies in Industrial and Organizational Psychology. She has worked on a number of campaigns as a volunteer and is on the Rising Spivey Show to share her knowledge in politics. Welcome Nakia. Thank you Chanel. Thank you for having me. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for being here. So you can help me sort through some things. Now in your experience in campaigns, are young adults showing up at the polls? Um, I would definitely say that the 2008 presidential election with Obama um, is where we saw the biggest number of young voters. The college age voters were actually turning out and they were excited about this election. In addition, we also saw like a record number of African American voters and this is simply attributed to the fact that for the first time we had someone on a major presidential ticket who looked like us. Mm -hmm. Someone that we felt that we could relate to. Hey, it's a best kept secret. You, the first step would be to contact your local county council member. Mm -hmm. You would be able to go to our county administration building right in Upper Marlboro, and you would find out who your county council member is. And then from that point, let's just say you weren't satisfied with the response, then you go one, state for, um, one step further and go to your state delegate. Mm -hmm. Every district has two to three delegates who are responsible for being our voice, so to speak, in Annapolis for the state legislator. Mm, that's great information. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> As of right now, the Tea Party movement is not a national political party, but they do endorse Republican candidates. The Tea Party has no central leader, but it is composed of loose affiliations of national and local groups that determine their own agendas. 
And for this reason, the Tea Party movement is cited as an example of grassroots political activity. Some cite it as an example of astroturfing. Hey, Political advertising or public relations campaigns that are formally planned by organizations but are disguised as spontaneous grassroots behavior. The AstroTurf is a brand of synthetic carpeting designed to look like natural grass. So, you know, the, these, you, they're always on the news, they're always in the paper. These uh, Tea Party movement errs. What is their beef? What is up with these people? Well, I think it's kind of funny that you said in the definition that it's a synthetic carpet designed to look like grass. Mm -hmm. That essentially is what the Tea Party is. While they come out and say that they're not endorsing either way, um, they're not a representation of the Democratic or the Republican Party, that they're just basically um, a combination of maybe the um, with their Tea Party, they're a combination of the various independent groups. No, that's not true at all because as you said, they come out publicly and endorse these Republican candidates. One of the biggest faces and supporters of the Tea Party movement, as we know, is Sarah Palin, who was a Republican vice presidential candidate on the ticket with John McCain in the election 2008 against President Obama. Mm -hmm. And that Sarah Palin is something else. She is, do you think that she could be our president? Um, well, I think with President Obama being elected, it actually showed how far that we've come as a country. Mm -hmm. So I do think that the racial barriers are broken and maybe America isn't as um, narrow-minded as we previously thought. Mm -hmm. But in the same token, um, you also see instances where the Tea Party movement is coming up and then you mm -hmm. also see how the Republicans are kind of fighting against our president. So it's sad to say that I mean, Sarah Palin could. I would hope she would certainly never be my president or a leader, but I mean, she came kind of far as far as being the governor of Alaska yeah. and then getting put on the ticket. Hey, it's a best kept and that's another reason why it's so important to pay attention to your local elections because it makes it that much harder for President Obama or any Democratic official to be reelected mm -hmm. if you have the majority of the Senate, the majority of the House. Can you break um, that down to them. our viewers, please, the, um, the importance of gaining the majority? Well, the importance of gaining the majority is that any time the president introduces a bill or something that he wants to have introduced or implemented, um, they have to have a vote. So basically, of course, if someone is not on the same page as you as far as the political affiliation and having the same goal in mind, they're going to definitely vote against it, um, and it's going to hurt. Democratic Party and Americans overall. Mm -hmm. So that's why another reason you definitely need to get out and try to, well, not even try to, you need to definitely, definitely. get out and vote. Hey, it's a best kept secret. How can people be active, I suppose, when there is not a major, you know, campaign happening? Well, one thing that we not just as young young people but just in general that we need to do is be more proactive and more responsible in having a voice voice in our opinion too many people will take the idea or approach oh well it's not going to really affect me my vote doesn't matter yes it does and in addition we need to hold these candidates and elected officials that we're putting into office responsible mm -hmm. you need to find out who your congressmen are you need to find out who your state delegates are you need to find out who your county council people are and hold them accountable say well, hey, you said this in your campaign, you know, two years ago that you were going to fight for funding for the public schools. Well, what's going on now? Why are we actually seeing, you know, teachers being furloughed, things of that nature? Hold these people accountable. Because the problem is that a lot of people keep getting reelected based on false promises. And it's like, well, if I didn't trust you or haven't seen you do anything in the last four years, why would I dare give you another okay. four years? And so I we as citizens have to hold these politicians accountable. <laughs> You have to be responsible. You need to actually do your own background research. Mm -hmm. Anyone can make a commercial. Anyone can go to a forum, put on a good front, say I'm going to do Put up a bunch of, of, of flags a and neighborhoods, of flowers yards. or signs, yard canvassing. But what you need to do is look into their track record. What have they done? If they were elected official previously, how many of their promises did they come through on? Sounds good. Thank you so much. That was great information. Thank, thank you, you for, for having me. You're very welcome. Okay, so if there are any grassroots organizations out there that support our president, please write into the Rising Spivey Show. We would love to support your campaign as well. Stay tuned.
still got the black vote, you know. I'll tell them anything. Tell them I'm black and they'll vote for me. And I'm basically going to get the white vote from being our articulate and talking like this and doing that and stuff and they'll vote for me because I'm black and I'm articulate and you know they'll think I'm Jesus so that's way I'll get myself in office and I need big words like real real big words like 17 letter words like crazy words and it'll surprise them this hello ladies and gentlemen how you doing this evening? I am the next president of the United States. I'm very articulate and you should vote for me because I'm black. I can say words that you cannot pronounce. Ex kamaka doshis. Do you know what that means? I'm black and I'm articulate. If you vote me in office, we will legalize marijuana. I know you would like that. We will toast to malt liquor. I'm black and articulate. Also, we will make fried chicken the country bird. I will raise taxes. I'm black. I will smack your mama. I'm black. I'll break your leg in half. I'm black. Vote for me. Look, we got to get the black and the Latina vote. Somebody done told them their vote counts now. So we got to get their vote. We got to kill them with kindness. And then after we get in, we can just kill them. <laughs> vote for me. How y'all doing? Y'all like America? Do y'all like America like I like America? I don't think you do. Let me tell you how I like America in all shapes, in all colors. Went by Taco Bell, got me a, a, a taco. The taco I got, a Latina you made it? I thought I was in Mexico, had that taco. She had a little baby with her, well actually she had a couple of little babies with her. I said, come here, let me kiss that baby. Let me, let me, I love kissing the babies. I love the Latinas. Let me tell you about the other Americans I like. We went down. Popeyes, seeing the blacks there, I said, let me get some fried chicken. And they said, let me get you some sides. They got some red beans and gravy. I ain't too lazy. Got that. Got um, also, they put some napkins. They were so nice and so professional. That I done seen in one day, the Taco Bells, I seen the Latinas. I said, hola, I said, hola, hola. Hold I seen the blacks. And they were so nice and so professional to me. I love the babies, I love the teens, I love the blacks, vote for me. D dot, C dot, from that D dot, C dot, D dot, C dot, we hot, they not, we rock, you drop, sock it. Pocket. Any way you want it, I'll knock it. Drama, just stop it. Hold up, cuz watch it. Hold up, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Got that socket, lock it. Any way you want it, I'll knock it. Drama, just stop it. Hold up, cuz watch it. Hold up, watch it, hold up, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. I'm certified. Dirty when I ride by. Two of us murky, so the cops can't spy. I come through to make your body move. Do what you wanna do. Ooh, I ain't mad at you Ooh, I'm too busy moving past you I'm looking fly when I pass through Walk high class, too focused to grasp That your face looking gas You talking trash while your crew's on my back I laugh, give you what you silly little lame With your sorry little games and your petty little change ha, Sorry that my life is your dream And you not on my team so your face looking green Boo, I envy me too if I live like you Why should you come through with my DC crew? Making major moves on a high altitude It's the sound of the city and you know how we do Got that socket, pocket Any way you want it, I'll knock it Drama, just stop it Hold up, good, watch it Hold up, watch it Hold up, watch it Watch it, watch it Watch it, socket, pocket Any way you want it, I'll knock it Drama, just stop it Hold up, watch it Watch it, watch it I'm from the district, so don't get it twisted Blink and you won't miss this too fast to hold, too hot to handle I'm a shooting 
star and haters are candles Their reps I dismantle, leaving them in shambles Silly little mammals, I'm a professional Good for your health, you know Rock with my sound, boogie down, cause you know I'm dope I got that music coat, I got that high grade smoke That feel good tote, gotta drink, don't choke Hey, I'm in your throat like Listerine My crew so fresh and clean, and yes, we run the scene We from that D.I. Hold up, watch it, 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 Very honored to finally have Miss J Mills in the building. Hello, ma'am. Hello. How are you? Thank you for being here. Thank you. Please have a seat. Welcome to the Rising Spivey Show. How's it going? going pretty good going okay pretty good. okay and what's up what, what's the latest with you you just released uh your your latest project and you have a lot of, i've been to your website you have a <laughs> lot of music out there your latest one winter sadness yeah tell us about putting that together winter winter sadness this is the fourth volume of my poetry mixtape series uh it it's the most truthful my art will ever be it's very current to the life that I lived that year. You know, it's, mm -hmm. when I listen to it, it's like really, truly the soundtrack of my life. And it's just so empowering to have fans of Winter Sadness. Uh -huh. like, I enjoyed it. I, okay, I don't, I forgot. I think it was six and seven or seven and eight. I listened to a couple of times over and over again. Fancy Clown and then, what's before Fancy Clown? Uh, it's only love. Yes, that's it. That I went a couple of times back and forth, and then the one after that because I love, of course. Oh, you fancy, huh? <laughs> Definitely, and that's available um, for download. Actually, no. Uh, I I stopped. It was a fan exclusive. That's oh. why there's 12 tracks. It was like a 12 days of Christmas kind of mm -hmm. gift for people who wanted to hear new music from me. Um, a lot of my fans gave me a little bit of flack for Summer Madness because it was more so just rap and uh -huh. they were familiar with the poetry side. So uh -huh. it was nice. I had to give it to them. It will, you can still listen to it though. Mm -hmm. You just can't download it. Okay. I um, am working with DJ CeeLo and we got a couple more tracks we're adding, a couple more verses, a couple more features and I will be coming out with the full edition of winter sadness before this winter is over. So how did you get into music? What made you, I assume you were a writer first, you did poetry, and then at what point did you say I'm gonna rap? <laughs> um, summer Madness? Mm -hmm. Last year? The, or no, not even last year, earlier this year was my first time cognizantly saying that I'm rapping. Is that right? Um, before that, it was just poetry that a beat or a band mm -hmm. or you know, whatever sounded good with. Mm -hmm. But to me, being a rapper outside of just being a lyricist is you being able to rhyme on demand. Mm -hmm. You know, and that I was something. I watched her freestyle the other night on YouTube. <laughs> and I was indeed entertained. <laughs> so what do you think about music in the DMV? I think that um, it's an amazing time to be in the district right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, the hip hop scene is what the future of music will be. And I feel like we had a head start because mm -hmm. we've always felt like commercially we weren't being listened to. The radio is not playing us. The DJs aren't spinning us. We really had to work very hard independently without any type of major attention and no help to achieve success and now nationwide you know rapping is an epidemic everybody mm -hmm. raps if they don't rap they make beats you know mm -hmm. if they don't make beats then they manage somebody who right. does mm -hmm. you know but I think that we have a lot of very talented very super talented artists that are mm -hmm. concentrated here and it's just what a matter was, of time what was that line you have it's I don't call them him sees yes <laughs> what is it what do you say <laughs> I don't like the word. I don't call my brothers him -sies. Yes, in regards to fem -sies because yes. everybody wants to kind of segregate male and female art rappers. Mm. So what do you think about that? Was that a good thing or is it a bad thing? It is just a thing. Mm -hmm. Men and women are different. 
and the difference for some reason some people want to try and qualify and say one is better than one is worse than but there's an uns unspeakable just just overstood power of feminine energy and mm -hmm. sex sells mm -hmm. you can have a totally talented guy and a totally talented girl, but if that girl is beautiful, mm -hmm. she's gonna get more of a response mm -hmm. from the crowd than that guy ever could. Yeah. Like, it just is what it is. So I think that through hip hop, the difference between men and women and the respect of our femininity mm -hmm. on the planet, mm -hmm. like that's what we really need to work on. Cause mm -hmm. there are places where women are property, like they're not even people. Can't show their face, you know? can't do anything, don't have, they're <laughs> so. like animals really in some countries, absolutely. I feel the same way. I think that's the one thing that I love about rhyming, and I think that's why I did it, is because I felt like it was, I had the ability to use my voice yeah. and to, to some extent, you know what I mean, to say whatever I want. What do you think your brand is? When you say, when people think of Jay Mills, what do they see, feel, hear? The real Jay Mills is a real person that lives her dreams. And I think that people can identify with the reality in themselves and just be comfortable with who they are. My brothers that I had, but had to let me go Whether they cheated in the secret or they let me know Kisses to the mister, the mister perfect missus Now we reminisce is how I used to fill his wishes Teddy and I'm steady in stilettos washing dishes God has been already, but he wild up with these bitches VIP, H-O-E, now you say you're stressing me Telling me you had to leave, said you need some time to breathe But I see you on the street with the cheat knock off for me Y'all like me cautiously, flawlessly, abortiously I spit for the sisters, tired of the distance Good girl gone bad cause the brother missed it Had the best he ever had but he had to ditch it Cause he'd rather have a piece of you if he could switch it huh. You know you can't cop Gucci down in Chinatown You got a cutie with the booty that's been passed around You got a groupie but that floozy couldn't hold you down You never match my crown so I'll never frown Catch you brown town somehow Top down you, you, you and some fancy huh. I knew this dude that kept the chicks by the two New day, new shoes, new jewels he thought his money made us be the piss country time He thought his shine make us grown since the love blind You think the cheddar can get you whatever pleasure The only thing you get in this chicken's never the better I betcha choose to pick the chicks that you make Cause cheap chicks get paid for tricks that they take I can't hate on mistakes by the dollar ball But if I catch you in the city then I'm mugging you around town Somehow, top down You, you, you and some fancy clown